We're here meeting with Tracy DePellegrin, Executive Director of the Genetic Society of America and Executive Editor of the journals Genetics and G3 to talk about what the Early Career Leadership Program means to participants and to GSA. Tracy, how do early career scientists fit in here? Thanks, Jessica. Students and postdocs are the future of the field. We want to understand your challenges and provide opportunities and to help in any way we can. Your success is tremendously important to the whole community, now and for years to come. Not everyone realizes this, but early career scientists typically make up around half our membership. So the GSA board made a decision a few years ago to focus on enhancing our programs for early career members. What are some of the impacts the program can have on early career scientists? The genesis of the leadership program was to give students and postdocs a more active voice, both within the GSA and with, within the scientific community. I just had a listening session with the early career scientist leaders. It was a great dialogue. We can even put into place some of the requests right away. At the same time, we wanted participants to come away with concrete benefits, no matter what your career pathway or the support you may or may not have at your institution. For example, you can build up your network, add new achievements to your CV or resume, and develop leadership and communication skills. Not everyone stays at the bench, and it's important to recognize that and to provide support for those scientists. It's competitive out there for jobs, and participating in our program will give you a real edge. We've seen this countless times as program participants transition to jobs in industry, to tenure tra track positions, postdocs, and even jobs at GSA. You can truly make a difference to GSA, to your community, and to bolstering your own corpus of knowledge and experience. You can serve on an early career scientist committee like communications, career development, or multimedia. You might conduct interviews of other scientists, help create materials for advocacy, shape the agenda of our equity and inclusion efforts, and meet with GSA board members to talk about the issues that matter most to you. How else is this engagement important to GSA? Well, what the staff and the board of directors have really loved about this program is having extensive engagement with early career members. Rather than just a handful of early career representatives on committees, we now get input from a wider range of voices, so GSA really is your society. Finally, we all know that peer-to-peer -peer support is important now more than ever. GSA connects you with others who share your struggles, share your interests, and share your excitement about your scientific discoveries. Committee members focus their efforts on helping other early career scientists. So the program impacts not just those who are participating in the program, but all the other early career members and scientists in the broader community. It's making a difference every day. Thank you so much again for your time, Tracy. If any of our applicants have questions for me, please send an email to engagement at genetics-gsa.org. That's the word engagement fully spelled out at genetics fully spelled out dash gsa.org.